Have you ever wondered what it's like to have a best friend who's in your life all the time and plus business? Was that a, was that, was, are you okay? Oh, yeah. All the time. She's like, yeah, all the time. Like, I, but I look are, here, there she is. I look over there, there she is. But that's exactly what happens. But it's true. But it's fine. Even my daughter the other day, she's like, mom, one of these days, you and me, oh, even when I'm getting ready, she's like, did you tell Mashana to wear that? Did you text Mashana? Did you tell her to wear that? I'm like, no, I forgot. And she's like, well, you need to tell her. It's like, one of these days, you have to dress from head to toe, mom, with exactly the same thing that Mashana's wearing all and the time. And we could do that. We will. More than one day. But good. But we are. So we are best friends or business partners. Our kids are friends, our husbands are fun, and it's just, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And we just want to bring a real look at life together as friends and business partners because, you know, this is a, it's gonna be a tough world we live in. So we just want to invite you into our friendship, into our, our story. So it's a warm, safe place. We can all have a little (laughs) laughs, a little jokes, a little real talk, and then we'll go about, go on about our day. Yes, for sure. All right. So the first thing we like to talk about is maybe the ups and downs in businesses, Mm -hmm. and then we'll. Then we'll get to, you know, the ups and downs in personal life. But one of the really cool things that happened this, well, I think we should start with the bad thing because it kind of leads into the oh, next I thing. Do. I yeah. do have my kids too. I make them talk about like the worst part of the day first and mm-hmm. then we go to the high. Okay. So one of the worst things that happened this month. So y'all need to know, like if we, if we get real, 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 mm-hmm. my budget is now super, super reliant on my business. Whereas my business has always been supplemental, right? Yeah. So that's fine. Like that's one thing. And and then and she y'all sounds fine. Yeah. And then y'all know maybe that my husband quit his job, quote unquote retired, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it, like in August. So September was the first month. Fine. Great month. We did it. We're making it. It's the longest month ever. I already talked about that. It's fine. You know, having more than half of your income taken out. It's fine. You can do that. Anybody can do that. You know, especially me. She's fine. It's fine. Have I mentioned <laughs> about the fine? Anyway, but then it was like, okay, that's fine. But then October, we've decided to have my husband's birthday be in the same month that his brother decided in, what was it? Two months ago. Two months ago that he's getting married. No, last month. Yeah. Like, we're yeah. Just Literally, month. like the day after Chris got quit his job, yeah. we got this new bill of five people going <laughs> to a wedding <laughs> yep. that we weren't really so easy. And, and so then like just anything. So October is already like, okay, yeah, I believe in my budget. I believe every dollar is going to count. We're yep. going to make this. And then... The beginning of September. So we get the way that we pay ourselves, profit first, we teach that, is the whole month happens. Mm-hmm. And then we pay ourselves on the first or whatever yeah. from what happened that last month. So as September starting, we're like, uh oh. So then, you know, some clients traveled or some clients graduated or whatever. So the income kind of went whoosh. Yeah. Yeah. And most of you guys are entrepreneurs. We have like, I think we said like 95% of our clients are entrepreneurs. So you guys understand the influx the ups and downs of business and income. And so this was just the low month for us. And that's okay. It happened. However, it does affect, you know, our personal lives. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, so we're just watching that and it's like, no, I don't understand (laughs) because we've been, we've been, so what I can say for us is we have been very diligent to do what we're supposed to do since April. And we've always worked really hard, but I feel like for lately we've, we've been really focused Mm -hmm. and tried to stay within what our coaches told us to do and just stick with that and it's been paying off yeah and, and also to like where god has led us he's, yeah. and he's paved the way since day one day one but this has really been w- watching him these last couple months and since we've decided to really be laser focused it's been really awesome however there are the ups and downs of it that come with it so yeah so then so having all that happen and then watch the income go down and yeah. and and this is also very normal in sure. business the beginning of the month is different than the end of the month right this happens with my airbnb clients all the time so it's fine, but it was just like, uh, I don't know what are we going to do? So, but at the same time, we also just launched, you know, recently our only product that you can buy that doesn't require you to talk to us twice a month in <laughs> coaching, right? Which we love that. We right. love doing that. But there's there, this is the only other thing you can buy from us. Yeah. That doesn't require, that isn't coaching. It's one thing. We it's have a it. different way for us to be able to serve our audience. And we, you know, spent months yeah. literally working with it. And designer. lots of money, lots of money creating it. And lots of money. Yes. And we just fronted the last bit of the money to him this morning, actually, because we had a couple updates and some things that we found that we, after using it, we were like, oh, we still need to do yeah. a couple things. So we made the final update, really excited about it. We love it. Put a lot of sweat, tears and joy into it. And so it's our budget power, hour workbook. And we've heard nothing but amazing feedback. We have been out there so much looking at different budgets and what we wanted to use for our clients and yeah. didn't really find one that we love. So we created our own. Yeah. And so this was the first real month, I think, of us pushing it and and not I want to say pushing is a bad word, but like just uh, advertising. It? Yeah. Well, just giving it to the world and showing them like yeah. this is we did a pre-sale at the beginning, but now it was like now we have this product. We have the workbook. 
We have the videos where we explain stuff. We have everything set up. Yeah. We're so excited for you to be part of this journey with us. Yep. And so we were able to present it to our audience. Yeah. And so the the low for the business was the income was low. <laughs> And then we started doing that and not that the income like skyrocketed, but to see the fruit of we did the thing that we said we we're going to do and we've been consistently yeah. trying to tell people about it and it's working and people are buying it. And that's really, really cool. And that's and they love it. And, they, and then, well, yeah. And then then there's that bonus that yeah. they actually like what they're buying. Yeah. And so that's been really, really great. And and then we've watched our income go back up to like what it's supposed to be, which yeah. is really great. And by income, I mean revenue, like what we've transferred to our accounts is income, like the total revenue of mm -hmm. the business went back to where it's supposed to be, which is great. Mm -hmm. And so thank God for that. But those were the highs and lows of business this month. Mm -hmm. But then there's our personal lives. Now there's personal. All right. So a high for Vanessa. If you guys aren't watching this on YouTube, my husband and I were able to get away. He had a cousin that was getting married earlier this month. And so we did like a five day, five day, four day, whatever get away to New York to be able to go to that. And it was really nice. My best friend, this person mm -hmm. right here, watched my kids. She got to see what it was like to be a mom of five for, yeah. for a little bit. And I was so appreciative and so thankful that she that she took my kids um, to all their sports and everything and took them to Panama City with her in to her in-laws and flooded their house with extra yeah. kids. Uh, but it was just so nice to get away and spend some one-on-one -on -one time. And with a beautiful them. place. Yeah. Yes, it was in Auburn yeah. and it was just so nice. I've never been there before. And so like just the town and the trees. And actually and probably was weather. a little cooler. And you yeah. could, yeah. It was just so nice. And I told, yeah. it was just, it was like we were dating again, right? Yeah. We were able to just be fun and flirty and just not have to care about the dogs and the kids and everything. And so it was just, it was really, it was much needed for sure. Yeah. One of, so that ties in with one of my highs for the month, which was being a mom of five. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, and, it, and it's cheating because they're all, they're both older. So it's much easier. Uh, they're maybe a little bit more busy, but they're, you know, they've already, you don't have to do all the hard things. But anyway, so it was just fun. And I, I just see, I always, I love being able to pile them all in the car and pick them <laughs> like that. I was like, I have a car that fits all these kids. But I just, I distinctly remember sitting over there at that kitchen table and just listening because Catalina got home super late. So we all, well, actually she was going to eat dinner and I wanted to sit down with her. So she wasn't alone for dinner because everybody had already eaten. And then they all came anyway. Mm. So then everybody's sitting around the table and who knows what they're doing and talking about. And I distinctly remember my cheeks were hurting because I was laughing and smiling so much yeah. at that. And I was just like, this is so fun. And now, obviously, it wouldn't probably be that much fun if it was like forever. Well, maybe it would. But you know what I mean? Like it yeah. was just a nice little nice little slice of time where, I, where we did that. And I just had a lot of fun. And then another fun thing for us. And like I have a lot of fun things that are not related to my kids. But this month was a big deal because my oldest son got his, his permit. Yes, his little permit, and he's so proud. And he's like, "Look at me acting." Basically, he keeps he kept saying, "I got my driver's license." I'm like, "No, you got your permit. You got your permit. It's not a license. You're not allowed. You're not licensed." Step zero. But it was just funny. So he was so excited. So I was so excited. Like you said earlier on a different one, like how, or as you said, somebody how we have sons that can drive or learn yeah. how to drive is beyond me. But it is a thing. So. Yeah, for sure. That is so funny. It was so he. I had Shannon come to my house because I had to give her something, and he pulled it out of his his little wallet to show me, and I was so excited for him to get that. And so it's gonna be fun when he drives all the kids to school next year, guys. <laughs> but we're in a school. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Whoa. So, okay. So this month, how working... did we word this? <laughs> But I actually, this week is good. This week we're doing better. You know, I actually heard, so here's the deal. Working from home while my husband is working from home is a struggle. And Shayna has a different working style than my husband. And I have like, maybe I have ADHD. I don't know. I really should probably get it checked or whatever. Yeah. But I need to be like laser focused and no distractions I, and, and like on my task. And my husband likes, he's got that method of work a little bit, take a break, work a little bit. I don't do that. I can't do that. So we're just working a lot. Yeah, I'm working on that. But I did hear a podcast and she was just talking about lifestyle entrepreneur. So, so there's like people that want, that are ambitious and they keep going, 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 and it's never enough. And which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. And then there are people that want to be entrepreneurs to afford the lifestyle that they want. Well, what's the lifestyle that I want? To be able to spend time with my husband, to mm -hmm. be at home, to not have him be crazy busy or me crazy busy, that we can like, you yeah. know, exchange a flirty glance in the middle of the workday or whatever. Like that is supposedly the goal or right. maybe a goal in general of life. So I just need to like calm down and like figure out how to work this together. And we are working it. But there were some moments, guys. Mm -hmm. There were some moments that he and I didn't. We weren't. I was not, <laughs> it's not the best. She wasn't the best. But it's all working out for good now. No, yeah, they're good. They're getting into rhythm and a system. And I was telling them the other day, like, I remember when my dad was, you know, I've come from a family of entrepreneurs, but at certain times they went in different directions. And so my mom finally quit her last job to come 
and work for my dad and be his administrative assistant, basically. And she would call me like every day crying because she's like, I don't fit in. They don't know. what They won't let me do anything. They already have a system of their own. And so it's just hard when you're both at home trying to be in the boat in the same place at the same time doing doing things. And so it takes a minute. Yeah. And I remember them getting into their rhythm. And now it's like clockwork, right? Yeah. But it does. It doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight for sure. No. So. All right. So personal low for me is I feel like my kids sports this month with everything going on just didn't allow for as much food planning as we normally do. And and which is stupid because on the weekend is when we normally do that. But on the weekend, we just decided to do nothing or was when I had to run all my all errands. Gone. No, you guys, have, you've been gone a lot of weekends. Yeah. Okay. So we were gone or like we had the girls had like a volleyball team building yeah. thing. So we had we went to that and then I had to run a bunch of errands. So like I didn't have time to do that during the week because I needed to do that on the weekend. And so it was just it just didn't not a lot of things happened the way that they were supposed to. It's, they still got all done. And I was telling Shana, I've been, I woke up the last two mornings and it felt like I got hit by a ton of bricks. And because I went to bed late trying to get stuff yeah. done and then waking up, you know, you're, you're still wake up early and stuff. So hold on. That reminds me of a personal low. Oh, see, well, we're trying to figure this out. And then I nine o'clock, like, a nine o'clock game for volleyball. Oh yeah. That was not great. We had a, <gasps> yeah. for us to play. No, not to watch somebody play. We had to play. A they game. scheduled the only team. We were the only team on the entire league. The people had gone to bed to before nine o'clock. We're supposed to start playing volleyball. Like we were literally, I, I don't know if you noticed at one point, we're all standing around. Maybe not Mark because he has to close sometimes, but we're all like, you know how you yawn because you yeah. see someone else? Like I, we were yeah. standing by the table and everybody's like yawning. I'm like, this is going to be a great game. We're all glazed over. Yeah. Eyes <laughs> are glazed over. I'm like, we're going to play Philly Ball. I'm I in Chris's sweatshirt because I'm cold. Shana's shivering and I'm yawning and my eyes are watery. I'm like, oh, we're going to win. <laughs> But I, I was putting the eyeliner on this morning and my eyes were so puffy. And I'm like, oh, good. This is going to hide that. <laughs> yeah, I know. And they're like, so <laughs> mine are so dry and like scratchy. They're like, please just let me sleep. Oh, I'll goodness. work on that tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah. Okay. okay. So then, okay. Some things behind the scenes really quick about our business bestie life, which is we have lunch together. We're talking about our kids, our, you know, our older two. Our, I mean, even you, her all, her other is right behind them. So it's, it really isn't. They're like the that, same age. It's a lot different of a conversation. But our oldest two are in high school now. So it is time to start talking about college a lot mm-hmm. more. So we had a lot of good conversations about their future. And it's so nice to be able to do that with other people that are in the same position, and basically. Mindset. And mindset, same values. And kids that kind of are the same in that way, too. So it was really a nice little lunch. Yeah. yeah. And when she said us, like the four of us, her her and her husband and me and my husband, we all four went to lunch and really had, I think we were there for two hours and they were ready to, them down they were ready to kick us out. It was lunch. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, uh, but it was really good to be able to do that. And, yeah. uh, and so then volleyball, like we play volleyball together. Also, the girls play uh, volleyball on the team together. But we got earrings. We got matching earrings. And Shana got the boys sweatbands. <laughs> Okay, so both of our husbands shave their heads and they yes. both have big old beards. Yes. But which shaved heads, real great. We think they're very handsome. We yes. love it. It's not great for sweat consolidation. You know what I'm saying? Like it just goes. Yeah. And they're like glistening. There's nowhere for it to go. They're glistening. So I got them like, and they say Wilson on them, which I think is important for volleyball because remember he named it Wilson yeah. on Castaway. And so like they have sweatbands like 80s style that yeah. they can put on their sweet glistening heads. And, and they did wear it the first time, which I didn't think they would, but they did. And they look so sick and cute. They look straight out of the 80s. It was so adorable. And I think that that's why we won that game. And then they didn't wear them and we lost. Who yeah. thinks that it's because I of think it's tough. Yeah, Absolutely. For sure. for sure. Sure. Okay. And, and then we've done, not only have we played volleyball, watched our girls play volleyball, then we got to go see other people play volleyball. We're apparently living a volleyball life that yes. is like very this volleyball. Is season, season, y'all. It is lots of volleyballing. Okay, but another behind the scenes, which I think is really funny, is if you could just see the setup situation. You should take a picture. That we have. Oh, I have them. I, how we set up. Because when it used to be podcasts, that was also bad. Like, because we didn't have a cool mic that we have now. that Or the editing software that we're using that makes it less crazy sounding. Mm-hmm. So we would have some crazy, like, workout mats or an umbrella to try to help us with the sound waves so it wouldn't be as annoying. Mm-hmm. Now we're doing... You didn't do that when you're on video. Well, no, we're doing the same, like... <laughs> hack it approach uh with video so we have a laundry basket right there holding that light up and then a tote a tote with, with two, two boxes two shoe boxes yeah it's important that you know the shoe boxes are putting it up to the level so we can stand because we have to stand because we can't sit down anymore right now and then and then on your house when we go to your house sometimes we have that ice box cooler like but you might put you know fish or something in to keep it cool uh, to store on the it's way winning home. guys it's we're using that to hold the light or the mic or whatever we need and I don't, 
my mom came over to drop my daughter off because I had a call and she's like, so this is your station. And I was like, yeah, isn't it great? And welcome to my office. It's at my kitchen table. I have to tear it down and set it up every, every day. day. It's fine. <laughs> so it's fine. Makes sense, guys. More things that are fine in our lives. It's just another thing to laugh at us about, but it's fine. We love it. Yes. And actually, I know I can feel that now that we've paid for some of the bigger expenses that we're going to have. We're, in our future is some better equipment that we won't have to do it this this way all the time. We won't have to DIY it as much. It'll be more professional and easy. But okay, last question to wrap this episode up, which is a fun question. If you had to host a talk show with your pet as the co-host, what would the show be called? And what would your first episode be about? Okay, my show would be Sugar the Chewini. Yeah. Because my dog is a Chewini. And Chewini is fun to say. So it it's important. Y'all have seen Boss Babies it's in there and it, like it's really important to me. Anyways, and her name is Sugar, and I don't know. I think it would be like the ultimate Lickster episode because, and just to show how much this dog loves to lick people yeah. and how long her tongue is. It's mm, really important for that. me to people to understand the aggression that she did. When she licks you, it's it's very purposeful. Yeah. And so it just cracks me up. So I would probably have to name it. So our dog's name is actually really fun. It's Odysseus, which is what the kids named it. And then the short is Odie, which is from Garfield. So mm -hmm. it's like double entendre right there. So there would have to be some play in that with the name. Yeah. And I would take, it would take me a minute to figure that out. I'm not going to lie. But then some, the first episode would probably be something about like looking like a cow. And we would maybe we would go look at things that look like cows, like a soccer ball or him. Because he, if you look at him, he's like spotted like a Dalmatian. And nobody knows why, because he's a schnoodle, which is a, a schnauzer and a poodle. And I don't know. And it'd be just a fun show about like things that look like cows. I think that would work. He's a little mini fuzzy cow. Yeah, mini fuzzy cow. <laughs> okay, y'all have a wonderful time in your life until the next episode when we see you again. Bye.